Welcome to Monday, November the 16th. I'm Pastor Jim Krieger from Holy Cross Lutheran Church and School in Saginaw, Michigan, celebrating God's holy word with you today in our daily devotion. The word of God that we continue to study from the book of Ephesians. Today, chapter 2, verse 19. So then, you are no longer strangers and aliens, but you are fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God. Can you remember any time in your life when so many people in our nation, our communities, our leaders, our families, and even members within our own churches have been at such odds with one another. Many of us do not even treat each other like brothers and sisters in Christ. In fact, many Christians are treating one another like we were still strangers and aliens to one another. The teachings we have heard so far in Ephesians 2 remind us of a very different reality. Jesus Christ is our peace, who was sent by God the Father to reconcile sinners to himself, but also to reconcile us to one another as children of God. It was Jesus Christ alone who was sent to break down the dividing wall of hostility between sinners and our holy God, but also the dividing walls we build from one another because of our sins. Christ himself has reconciled us to himself, to God, and one another into one church, a holy fellowship of believers who are called to love and serve each other as members of the same body, the body of Christ. The words contained in Ephesians 2 verse 19 for today provide another timely reminder for us. The church is the body of Christ in which there is no barrier between Jew or Gentile, male or female, young or old, slave or free. For in Christ we are no longer strangers and aliens to each other, but we are joined together as a family of believers, receivers of the same grace of God, united in the same confession that Jesus Christ is Lord and our Savior from sin. And as St. Peter describes in 1 Peter 2 verse 5, we are like living stones, being built up as a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood. The church the body of believers is represented by people from many different backgrounds, yet all have the same access to our Heavenly Father and His grace through faith in Christ. In Christ, we are no longer strangers and aliens to each other, but as fellow citizens of heaven. The church is made up of a remnant of Jewish believers in Jesus, combined with a multitude of Gentiles, who were also lost in their trespasses, also dead in their sins, without God as their Father, without hope in a fallen world. And because each member of the body of Christ confesses Jesus as Lord and Savior, we are no longer strangers and aliens to each other who were once eternally condemned, but we are together fellow citizens of heaven. We are part of the same household of faith, we have been awarded the position and the privileges of children of God by grace through faith in Christ. Individually and corporately, all Christians are the dwelling place of our holy God who takes up residence within our very souls by the work of the Spirit. How we see one another should never be based on skin color, customs or practices, backgrounds or any other difference. Because in Christ, we are no longer strangers and aliens. But those who are in Christ are fellow citizens with all the saints, members of God's heavenly household. Is this not the privilege of all privileges, that we should be called children of God, brothers and sisters in Christ, 
joint heirs with Christ, and raised up to sit with him in the heavenly realms. So then, let us daily devote ourselves to living our lives in the only way that pleases God. Walk with each other in spirit and in truth, as his dearly beloved children, forgiving and loving one another, as in Christ we are forgiven and unconditionally loved. Let us pray. Loving Father, because you are gracious and merciful, you have offered your Son as the sin sacrifice so that all sinners can have access to you and the faith in Jesus that leads to forgiveness and salvation. You have welcomed me, my brothers and sisters in Christ, and all believers into your spiritual family, and you showered us with comfort through your word and sacraments. Unite us not only as believers, but as your family, as we show your love for one another, especially in these challenging times. All of this I pray in the holy name of Jesus, who taught all your people to join in prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor, and in the holy, saving name of Jesus, grant you peace and unity in these times and for all the days to come. Amen.